I feel strongly that people need to chill out about their birthdays. I feel really strongly about every season of Survivor. I just watched 44 seasons in the pandemic and I have really strong opinions about each contestant and the winners of each season. And yeah, that I'm not budging on. Hey Logo, I'm Mae Martin and this is IMO. I believe that bringing up your ex on a first date is completely acceptable. If anything preferable, lead with your trauma, get it out there. Don't hide the fact that you're obviously still pining. There's room to pine from multiple people. I think we gotta just stop pretending that we're unwounded and uh, talk about your ex incessantly if you have to. Get in the garbage, it's insane. It's so archaic. They keep having like sort of natural disasters caused by gender reveal, like they're starting forest fires because they're setting off fireworks. And yeah, it's just crazy. I think it's sort of inevitable to have a crush on your therapist and natural. And in a way it might be why they got into therapy in the first place is because they know people are gonna be having transference and projecting onto them. They're like, for and uh, neuroses. So no, I think it's got to, everyone's got to be going into it knowing that that's going to happen. It's, there's something really hot about someone who doesn't give much away, doesn't ask anything of you really, and gives you a lot of attention. I mean, what could be hotter? My gut instinct about making your baby an Instagram is like kind of revulsion and fear. Like, I don't understand why you would need to. And the amount of time it's going to take to run that page, like just get outside, you know? <laughs> Take the baby to the park. I'm friends with most of my exes. I think it, it can be done. It can be done. As long as, you know, one person isn't madly in love with the other person still, I think it's really nice. I think it's so surreal and bizarre when people who you've cared about so much just vanish from your life. And uh, I don't know that we have to put people in such strict categories, you know, of friends and romantic, like, I think we all need to be a little more fluid and patient with each other. If you text at a comedy show, there's a special place in hell for you. Don't don't do it. Just go to the bathroom and text. Like it, it's it's so distracting. It's one of those things where like, if someone's texting in the front row, I, I feel like I have to address it. But then if I show that I'm actually annoyed, everybody sort of turns on me. So unless it's like a, a real emergency, you, you can't be texting. I don't know. I mean, usually at, at a wedding ceremony, usually there's like an official photographer, right? So yeah, I feel like keep your phone away. Unless there's something crazy happens, like the person who's officiating the wedding like pukes on the bible or something like you know then you gotta everybody's gotta get their phones out but i think be present in the moment i think that's the general rule for things i have some couple tattoos that have had to be morphed into other things so i think it could be the kiss of death yeah it, it could signal the end of the relationship or jinx it in some way i'm pro one night stands you know i'm sex positive like there's nothing wrong with that sometimes that's what both parties are looking for and there can be something really beautiful i mean casual sex doesn't necessarily mean like meaningless empty sex it could still be you know a beautiful uh connection just for one night i mean is it bad if i say i'm pro j walking like nothing annoys me more than like really rigid bureaucracy when it's like there's no cars on the road i'm not gonna walk two blocks out of my way to cross at the stoplight there's something infuriating about the idea that i have to and that i shouldn't be trusted with my own life having said that never jaywalk with a stroller that's insane you're pushing it out in front of you too that's like the first thing that's heading into the road if you're like a, a healthy adult and you got your wits about you jaywalk all you want but otherwise I don't know, be careful. Don't break up via text. If you break up via text, you're, you're just prolonging it for yourself too, because the person's gonna be confused. They're gonna be trying to get more clarity and they're gonna wanna talk to you face to face. So yeah, just save yourself the stress and, and go and meet up face to face and say what you have to say. Or, you know, write a letter, like, I don't know, text is just so, I mean, imagine if you put an emoji in it. No, don't, no, no, no. Eating on the subway, I mean, I don't wanna be a judgmental person. I don't wanna be an uptight person. I like to think of myself as someone who's like, look, you're hungry, you gotta eat you know, whenever the mood takes you, but don't push me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't like the side of myself that it brings out when I see people eating in, in the subway. Mm, cruises. I can't lose sight of land. That's my issue. I don't want to. I fear the ocean. I have like a very healthy fear and respect of the ocean. And uh, I've seen too many movies and oh man, a rogue wave. The idea of that cruise ship flipping and then slowly sinking and groaning in the deep water. You know when metal makes that noise like as it, no way, I, it's not worth it. I haven't actually ever been invited to a dog's birthday party, but from what I've seen, it's usually just like a very bewildered, stressed out looking dog that's been put in a little outfit and is just sitting there while everyone circles them and sings happy birthday and they're just like confused about what's happening. So uh, not, nah. I don't even believe in human birthday parties. Don't ask me to get a present for your dog and show up and sing a song. I'm sorry. I don't love 
love it. I mean, it depends on the group of bachelorettes, you know? But it definitely feels weird to, that like that's your wacky destination for your group. Like it's like going to the zoo or something. There's a, there's a weird element to it, but I don't know. If you're going, you better tip well, very well. Oh, you have to re-gift. Yeah, 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 re-gifting's fine. As long as the person doesn't find out, fine, fine. Yeah, it's because the person giving you the gift, all they want is the moment of giving it to you and the gratitude and the, it's, it's all about them. It's nothing to do with whether you use the gift or not, I think. I think, yeah, if you think someone else will like it more than you, get rid of it. Oh yeah, I mean, you have to do what you have to do to get by in this world. If you're logged into anyone's Netflix account, I think then that's your Netflix account from now on. Yeah, whatever Netflix account that you can find, if you're gonna be watching my special, then um, yeah, I, I think you do what you've got to do to watch it. If it's your ex, if it's your boss, who cares?